or you hold properly set up and also pair with your phone and use your Wi-Fi security camera. So these cameras are actually very, very popular nowadays. And inside the box, you will find a cable for it. So this actually needs a power supply, uh, constant power basically. So it doesn't have any internal battery. So we are going to take this and we have this like hole over here. So let's plug it in first. And then you actually need somewhere to plug this in. Uh, and also you actually need powerful enough adapter for this thing. Because if you actually use uh, some kind of very weak power adapter, you will actually have a lot of problems with this camera. The Wi-Fi connection will drop all the time. It will struggle. And again, it will be very slow. So it's very fussy when it comes to the power adapter. So uh, for example, on the back of this, you can see the output for power. For example, here it says, three amps for the five volts so make sure uh, on yours it says at least two amps uh, for the five volts that's what we need okay and i'm going to okay i plugged in and this will take some time to actually power on maybe like 20 seconds in the meantime we can uh, download this app called yiot so search for this so this works on android and also iphones and then as you see, it actually takes quite a long time to power on. And as you see, it gives this noise and it will do this procedure where I think it simply tests itself and goes around. So simply wait till it does this and you will hear a beeping sound. So simply wait till you hear this beep sound. Okay, as you hear, I have the beeping sound and I can now uh, open my app and it's ready to be connected. Again, make sure it beeps like this. So let's open it up and select your country. Then also you need account or you can also use this Facebook. So if you want, also we can click the sign up and enter our details. And then you will need to come back to this page, the login page, enter your details and login in your account. Okay, skip this stuff. Make sure to allow all this. So uh, it needs these permissions on your phone basically to function properly. Otherwise, again, it, it won't work properly for you. And then at the top here, you will see tap here to add your camera. Let's add that again. Make sure to allow this stuff. Make sure to allow this. And then we have two different uh, ways we can actually use this camera, this particular one. Either this Wi-Fi connection or the hotspot direct connect. So if you have like Wi-Fi network in your home, we are going to select the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, but if you do not have Wi-Fi and maybe you only have your phone, uh, you can also like make a hotspot and connect directly from your phone to this uh, camera. But this method actually is very unreliable, basically. Also, it lags, it's slow sometimes, and it's not very good. So I actually highly suggest you to use the first method. And uh, maybe if you do not have uh, like Wi-Fi network, really, maybe get a router that really is the best for this camera and that really works the best. Okay, let's click, I hear the beeps. And next we need to enter our password for the Wi-Fi. Okay, let's click next. And then what we need to know, uh, basically uh, we simply have to point the uh, QR code of our phone to the camera, basically the lens. So simply point it and try to move it around uh, as sometimes it's kind of a bit of a hassle to uh, like point directly at the right. So as you see, I move it around in different ways and it uh, eventually like captures the QR code. So again, I'm, is so you see it said it's okay. So again, maybe this kind of distance away. So you can't put it like directly, it won't work. Okay, uh, we can click this next thing. So, and yeah, simply wait. And again, what I suggest you is to actually uh, connect to this camera before you actually install in it, it on the wall. So again, okay, so it's done. Again, I highly suggest you to uh, like set this up uh, maybe somewhere on a table first before you actually mount it on the wall. So uh, then at this stage, they are very cheeky actually, you can enter some uh, name 
but uh, if you click this for example to experience they will ask you to like pay a subscription fee so you do not need to pay this this is very cheeky so uh, yeah there's no way to actually bypass this the only way is we can actually close this app and reopen it from fresh so uh, this is <laughs> very very cheeky actually but again do not pay this stuff okay then and our camera is ready we can click uh, on the camera here and uh, maybe to say the screen is loading so simply wait so to say what we can do here so as you see it uh, is working properly and again we can even move this around the image again uh, if you are, are having some problems with moving around maybe it shuts down while you actually move again make sure you actually have like powerful enough uh, this power supply so again it's very very fussy when it comes to the power supply so make sure you have it also uh, here we can record uh, basically the footage basically from the camera if you want and also here we can listen to the sound as well uh, okay all of this stuff and you'll basically hear what's actually talked uh, through the camera as well so it's actually very useful and also we can turn on the flashlight here as well okay if i turn that on sometimes yeah as you see basically you can actually like see if it's like dark as well and over here on this corner we can also change the resolution for the picture so by default it's hd so if you want to save some data you can maybe uh, use uh, hd but full hd obviously is better quality also we can press this button to send a voice message over the camera hey how are you doing so it goes completely crazy but as, as you can see if you press and hold this you can essentially talk to someone basically what you see on the camera also we can press this uh, to maybe like take a picture or again uh, on the top over here if we click this uh, we can manage other settings uh, such as uh, like uh, smart detection as well so uh, it can detect if someone is actually uh, near the camera and alert you and stuff like that so it's actually kind of advanced uh, so overall again uh, for the best results again make sure to use wi-fi connection and again make sure your power adapter is actually powerful enough if it's not powerful enough you will experience a lot of problems with this camera so a lot of people actually face a lot of problems with it anyway good luck guys